Hey everyone, how you doing today? Yeah, I uh, I took a couple days off. I uh, just wanted to uh, chill from Imperium for a little bit, but of course I got that that uh, urge to build something again. So um, thought I would try it here in a video. And what I wanted to do after playing, uh, placing the CV block here is build like a new starter CV. Um, efficient, practical, uh, potentially themed um, like the uh, supremacy um, of, of that style. Kind of an excuse to make another starter CV. Um, so I'm just started here and I wanted to attempt something a little bit different with this one. I wanted to try to kind of lay out where I want to put some of the big interior parts before I build the hall. Basically kind of like map it out a little bit um, on the inside and then, then try to build the hall and maybe make some modifications to what I made to the inside. Basically just so I could make something that everything fits really good in. Um, so, being a starter CV, obviously I'm going to try to be uh, very efficient with space and things like that in it. Um, so, that that that's a big thing right there. Um, so, I'm, I'm, I'm also building the hull out of steel. That's, that's the blocks that are here right now. So, all I did is uh, turned on symmetry. Um, what I wanted to do is just try to come up with a general layout on how big the ship is going to be. I wanted to have all the stuff I would normally want on a starter CV, so a farm, um, hangar space, landing pad, um, you know, production, storage, warp, uh, place for a shield, um, stuff like that. Um, so I think one of the first things I want to do here is actually find some big parts to slap in here. I don't care which version of them I'm using right now. They're uh, the shield will be placed more, more than likely. Um, I don't think I'll do a starter CV without a shield in it, but I'm sorry, I meant the warp core. But the shield will be like a, a placeholder. So I wanted to get those two big parts right now and try to figure out. We'll just randomly place them somewhere right now and then try to build up a bit of a hall around it. So this is a little bit of a different method than I normally would build things in. Um, but I'm not sure. You know, this one might look a little different than... The normal here. Let me get the light on too. Jeez, dark. Yeah, I'm at space just to save my video card uh, some some heat that I get from working on the ground. It's been stable though, so it hasn't been like overheating. It's just it ramps up the temperature a lot. So I've been trying to um, not be on the surface too much. I can't really replace the video card as of yet, and it probably needs that at some point. <laughs> Okay, so let's say we've got a shield and a warp core. Um, another big thing too is we want to make sure that you're at least one block space away from the sh from the uh, the warp core. So if you walk above it like this, you should be you should be safe. And what I'm trying to do is why isn't the the key isn't working? <laughs> come on, oh come on. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong key. That's why it's not working. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Yes, you take a few days away from Imperium, and then you uh, start using the control key instead of the uh, shift key, and then you're all screwed up. Okay, so let's say this is um, the front area of the ship. And let's just say that uh, the ship kind of uh, comes out. We'll try to work on a little bit of body lines here at this point in time. I kind of wanted this a little bit slicker. You know, it's... Um, I know the uh, the most efficient way to build like a, a ship is usually a box or a rectangle of some origin. This one will obviously probably be shaped that way too, trying to be efficient. But I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, not do the same thing over and over again. So okay, so let's say the bridge would be up here, um, and then we've got this lower area that maybe maybe could be accessible from side hallways that come through here at least one block away from the warp core. So we're going to say that this is internal space here. And then we could easily put walls here. Something like that. And uh, same, same idea. So then you'd have this nice little engineering area to go down to below deck. But that would leave room in the back for a hangar. Um, what I'd like to do also, though, is fit, figure out a, uh, 
a grow grow plot area. So I think just so I know what kind of blocks are what, uh, let's grab some uh, some grow plots. Uh, I think we've got to use just straight up steel ones for moving things. So let's say we had, this is all hypothetical right now too, so so much is probably going to change. It doesn't need a huge amount of growing area, but uh, say we got grow plots here, and that would uh, force the outer hull of the ship to be at least one square out this way. Um, but the shield's right in the middle. Um, that could be covered up inside the ship a number of different ways, and that doesn't that doesn't screw you up too bad. I guess there is some rads from that too, isn't there? And yeah, when I get closer to the shield, I do get some more rads. So it's nine. It's not a lot, but that is close. That might disrupt farms. So I think, fortunately, I'm going to have to uh, just remove these plots and be safe. And we'll put in grow plots there instead. Now, can it fit more grow plots in this? Probably. So I'm going to do... Um, of course, uh, you know, want to probably remove the grow plots as normal too, but I love, I absolutely kind of... Re when, I, when I do ships, I almost always do like a set of nine grow plots per, per grow light. I hate, uh, hate wasting. I hate uh, not using the full potential of grow light. Not that it matters. <laughs> It really doesn't. I mean, it's not like they use much power or anything like that. But, um, all right. So, here's where we're at. We've got a solid pathway that's safe to walk on here. We've got a solid pathway that's that's over here. We've got access to where the future bridge would be over here. This is, uh, this is not normally how I build ships, by the way. So, I usually do the hull first and then figure out the interior later. But I wanted to just try this concept. It might... If, if I can pull it off and the hull actually ends up looking okay, I'll be happy because then I know it just everything fits so nicely inside the ship that it won't be a thing. Um, all right, so height-wise, uh, height-wise, okay, let's just let's just plot that out. Obviously, coming up here, you're going you're gonna to need two block tall ceiling for the farm section so you can fit grow lights. Um, and it's also kind of nice for that for constructors and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm just kind of mapping this out right now. Okay, so we've got all our parts, all our big parts in there. Hangar, let's see, let's see. Uh, and we're also going to want a central elevator. That's another thing, too. So let me get some elevator blocks while I'm at it. So we can plot those out. So let's say we've got an elevator here, centrally located for convenience. Okay, and then this would be the floor. Okay, elevator, let's just extend that all the way up to, say, here. I usually like to put a block on top of the elevator to cut off so you'd... Um, get you to that floor nice and neat so now we've got a little hallway that goes around the shield is this still ah oh, that still affects me though doesn't it still affects the radiation hmm yeah i guess that makes sense um i don't have to go one one wider yet i think unfortunately with this some of those parts just really have uh, a lot of stuff you got to watch out for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bank these shield or these uh, grow plots out another block. <clears throat> Here, we'll remove the inner row. Whoops. Like that. And then this would be, I'll, obviously I'll probably replace a lot of these blocks too. Placeholders, just try to Trying to get a, a layout. Um, I always wanted to try this again anyway. I tried something like this a long time ago. Didn't work out so well, but um, it'd be nice to uh, find a way to make it work. Okay, so now we've got, if you're walking down this hallway, you're safe from the shield. Um, this, uh, and we don't need a hallway on the outside of the farm. That'd be just kind of a waste of space. So we'll build these, <clears throat> these walls back up here. All right, 
so bridge area here let's uh let's try to work out how that's going to try to look a little bit here and i wanted this a little bit sleeker than say the wayfarer um, if possible i don't know we'll see how it comes out this is very experimental and a little different shaping and style would be kind of neat too so I'm trying to figure out how i want to do some wedge blocks here at least try to get some basic body lines in and see if I actually like them or don't like them or if I can make it work and fit with everything else. Okay, so say we had an angle like that there. Let's take it up another row here. All right. So obviously it, the ship can stay fairly slender in this section. I got to start thinking about storage too, but a lot of these blocks that I placed here may end up being storage uh, controller blocks. Don't know yet. Don't even know where I'm going to put the, uh, the storage bays at yet. Um, okay, now this gets awfully wide out in this section here because put, pushing the farms out away from the warp core so you don't get fried walking on this hallway. Um, should work out all right, though. All right, so... From here, we're going to need some uh, cockpit windows and all that fun stuff. Um, again, this is a very generic layout right now, so um, so much will probably change, but just trying to get that, that general layout down and try to come up with like a pattern, something that uh, you can latch onto and try to uh, work out a little bit better. Um, you know what? This is also going to need to come down another block here. Let's just do that a minute. Build that out. Let's swap this block out. That and you with you. And just pop in some more of these. Okay, pretty basic there. Obviously, a different look. A skinnier uh, front bridge section. Still worried about how, how far these stick out, but if it can look, if it can find a way to make it look neat, uh, that would be the ultimate goal there. Okay, so, say pilot seat would be around here somewhere. I, I really wanted to do something neat with the glass, but I, I love the uh, the new fancy glass. Problem is, is the lack of angles. I'm, I'm doing this ship mostly at 22.5 angle and at least along there, and the fancy glass does not offer, or the heavy windows, I should say, uh, does not offer the angles that would be needed to do this kind of thing. Um, since I'm trying to keep it kind of wedgy and uh, sleek, I'm going to try to go with the, the older glass so I can shape it better. Uh, but now, how do we want to pull this off? Let's, uh, let's run a couple glass things like that. And then we will reverse that and slap it here. Oh, stay. And for now, we'll just put in another one here too. Like that. All right. And then obviously in the front here, we would probably just need our sloping wedge like this. Do I got that rotated correctly? Yes. All right. So bridge, generic bridge right now. Not really trying to make it fancy and pretty. What I do not like to do with a lot of bridges um, although it's neat for um, <clears throat> visibility, 
I don't like to necessarily make them like taller. Like I could uh, like ramp that up another block like that, but then I think it's too glassy, it's too much. It makes a ship look smaller because of the height of the windows. When you have like a, a, a straight like a window like this, it, it has a way to make the, the ship actually look a little bit bigger, I believe. Okay, so now the blocks on top of this area um, obviously need, need something that's going to work at the angle. And really, I think my only choice in this matter would be to use the conventional wedge blocks here, the uh, 45s. And this is with no overhang or anything like that it, that it might have before it's um, ready or complete. Build up some of those a minute. Yeah, I know. It's super generic right now. All right. See, the fun part is, once you have, like, a basic shape like this, then you can start to work that, add things, add little trim pieces, cut into it, do other things to, to add in detail. But once you get the first uh, generic shape. So now the another big thing is, is what it needs to do is it needs to tie in because it obviously gets wider here. And then beyond that, there's going to be probably hangar space and your uh, production area in back of that yet. Um, so I got to figure out a transition from going to this thinner uh, front. Um, and just, you know, as an example, so I'm kind of basing this a little bit around, like, the Wayfarer. Um, uh, there it is. So I'll spawn one of these here to see where I'm coming out on size and everything. Yeah. Uh, the Wayfarer I know works. Um, so that's how that one is. So I'm just taking a look at total information here. So we got one, two, three, four, five five six seven blocks tall and that was a good height setting so what am i at on this one right now one two three four five six seven so same height makes sense width wise the wayfarer is pretty wide um well at least on the main hall part here one two three four five six seven eight so seven each, so it's 15 blocks wide. All right, also got to think about reverse thrust. Might as well start thinking about thrusters right now too, because that's going to be a thing. Now I'm pro probably just using these little, these uh, medium thrusters for this build. Seems appropriate. Um, and the Wayfarer worked out stat wise, so I'm trying to also mimic that a little bit on um, how much thrusters I can actually put on here and where should I put them. So Wayfarer is running, I believe, two of these uh, mediums for reverse. I may try to just mimic that. Um, save a little bit of uh, playing around. Not sure how the CPU is going to come out. I'd rather have it like it's going to come out right the first time. It would be kind of a, a time saver for sure. So let's just say that out in this area, say up here, let's put in a couple uh, angled thrusters that go that way. Obviously, there's going to be a transition between this part and this part. It's not going to maintain that same angle at all. Um, okay, so on top of here, uh, in sake of trying to keep everything very um, smooth, let's not use that angle. No. Let's use, let's go back to this other set here. Can we do that? Yes, we can do that. Okay, so we're going to start angling this in. Top of the thruster. And we can do the, probably reverse that pattern. Maybe we'll t we'll try to make this look like it's a thing. Like this part over here, even though it's just the, the side wall of the farm. We're going to try to make it look like a thing. Like it's its own part of the ship, I think. Um, oh, this is bad. That can't work either. These thrusters are too close to the farm plots. So let's, uh, let's change the farm plots. Back them off. Okay, so the thruster stops there. If this area here were walled, this is kind of a waste of... Oops, wrong block. 
this area here was walled. Um, and then you would be away from the thrusters so you wouldn't get fried by those either. Okay, so that means I've got this little bit of space in this section here. It's kind of wasted room right now. Maybe that would get filled in with like something else that's useful that can handle the heat that keeps the player away from the heat. Would be the ultimate uh, way to go. Okay, so I'm going to build this out one more block row on the inside here. We'll do that on both sides. Okay, that kind of works. Again, high high heat area there. Let's get rid of these temp blocks. We know these are thrusters now. Um, what else could go here? That could be neat. Could have some some weapons or something, or weapon weapon mount place. Kind of obviously this isn't going to be a real tough ship. It's a starter CV, but you know with the shield and stuff, if it's got space um, and the right uh, stuff to make it work, I think I think we'd be, be in pretty good shape here. All right, so that's kind of where we're at on the front of the ship. Um, yeah, I might have a completely different look to it than uh, like the Wayfarer, and, and I kind of wanted that. I kind of wanted it to be different, but it, it's really going to depend very much on how this hangar area comes out. And the use of the big bulky hangar door, it's, I kind of wish there was some alternatives that were strong enough to work, you know, some angled things or something that you could use instead of that. Now, hangar space, uh, one enough to park, you know, let's see, just hypothetically, just wanted to see how deep the hangar is in here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen blocks deep on the hangar there. So let's say our hangar starts, let's say this is the uh, back hangar wall here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and hangar door. So that's how long the ship would be. It's longer, obviously, than the uh, than the Wayfarer. Um, might be a little skinnier, though. I don't know. Again, we'll see how it comes out. It would be neat if it had a different... Um, design that didn't look so boxy um, that would be something I would definitely want to uh, not have if possible don't know if that means probably isn't going to be better efficiency though um, but I'd like to we'll see we'll see okay and obviously this is just kind of maintaining that same pattern but the transition needs to take place here, uh, but I do want to I do want to further figure out exactly how this body is going to work out here. Let's uh, on the back side. I know what I'm going to also do is change this top row here, and we're going to angle this in better. And you know what? I'm going to do the same thing with this row down here. These pieces are looking a little bit more shaped all the time. Now, lift thrust, down thrust, back, well, I'm not so worried about the rear, th uh, the forward thrust, but uh, side thrust. Side thrust is going to be a thing, too. Um, what is the way for running for strafing thrust? It looks like just two, just two each. Okay. Um, where would be a nice uh, spot to do that? So we've got our side wall. Uh, so this this walkway is needed here to not be something that will fry you. So we can uh, actually have like a more of a legit engineering area in this ship, despite being pretty small, which I think would be kind of neat. This this block line here obviously is going to have to go down too. Let's uh let's follow this angle in. See where it comes out at. And 
Okay, so we got a nasty transition right there between the two, which is fine. Um, do we just run another one of those there? Yeah, I kind of like that, actually. I know it doesn't line up with the blocks there, but that's that might be a good thing in the end. Um, change this block around a little bit and dent it a little bit, if possible, as long as there's a block there. And that this is, uh, I don't know, could be a shielding. All right. And maybe it'll look a little bit more like a legit spaceship in the end, too. Okay, so I'm going to change this angle here as well to also keep going with the same angle flow there. And this is the part that's going line, to line up really badly. There. Okay, so let's try to... Let's try to do something with this block. Let's go into a transition block and see if we can go from ooh, not there. About here? No. I'm just gonna try to see if I can make an uh, like a bevel to a angle kind of thing. Which might look kind of neat. If you could put those up on something that makes it look like maybe this area of the ship swivels. Again, some of this is gonna be illusion. Um Try to make it look like there's something there that might move or be more complicated than it really is. Um, but really, it's just a wall. I kind of like that. So what would it take to do the same thing on the top? And that would that make it too tall? It probably wouldn't make it too tall. I want the top of the ship to be here. This would obviously give you... A pretty large area for potential landing zone on top of the ship. Uh, let's just let's just run a line here a minute, and let's put a bevel block in over here. Something like that for now. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So on the bottom here, we've got this uh, this bevel-in angle there. It'd be kind of neat to maintain something like that in the, in the back too. And but I still gotta I gotta do something with this here. Maybe this bevel goes here instead. Can we do that with this uh, roundy block? Get the right one. There we go. And we'll do the same thing here. The inverted one. Okay, so now let's uh, let's replace these two with round to match that, and then break. Okay, so this is a thing. Um, you know what? Let's change that a little bit more. How about, what if we try to go half, half block around here? So then we get this natural little seam between that part and this part, which might be a good thing. All right. So here, how about some of these little lippy side pieces, maybe a couple of those like that. And we don't necessarily need anything up here. This could be a drone hatch, it could be a turret, um, could be something useful. I don't know how much drone hatches are being used in game, maybe that was just like a little thing, but um, honestly I still, to this day, I don't think I've ever used one. I probably should more, but I'm not a pro player either, so there we go. <laughs> All right. For now, I'm going to put in, I'm going to slam in a generic retractable turret. Just probably end up getting moved, but just fill in the hole here. And, okay, generic retractable turret. There, and can we fit another one of those here? They don't have to be retractable turrets either. I'm just trying to be cheap. 
and I consider that the, the uh, retractable ones cheaper because you don't need the uh, the supporting block roll underneath it. Um, if you add up, if you're using uh, decent weight blocks um, or uh, tougher blocks, if you use nine blocks below a regular turret, it's going to weigh more than a retractable altogether by some. Um, although retractable uh, turrets are a little bit heavier than a non-retractable turret, when you add in nine more nine blocks to it of whatever material, unless it's like carbon substrate or something, it's probably going to weigh more. Okay, so another thing that could be uh, placed here, uh, this area, this area, I just got to put a good attention to. It's got to look right here in the corners. So what I'm really wanting to do is figure out, like, can there anything else neat be put here that's useful for game? And, yeah, you know what? I'm not liking that anymore either. I change my mind when I'm building things, too. I'll put something in place. I'll look at it for a little bit. If it doesn't, uh, if after a little bit it's not working for me anymore, then I usually cut it. <laughs> Try something else. Okay, hangar space. Uh, another big uh, qualification with hangar is it's going to need the hangar door. Um, I hate putting these things on ships. But the hangar's got more hit points. If you use the ramps and louvers, they're considerably weaker where you typically have to back it up with a hangar door anyway. Um, so why not just put in the hangar door? And I like to have a minimum size of 9x5, which will fit most of the uh, SVs and HVs and things that I've made. So as on the starter CV, this is a little bit bigger than the Wayfarer, I would say. Um, but maybe a little skinnier. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So, and the top of the ship, the thing with hangers and, and whatnot is you don't have to have another block row on top of this. So this kind of works already. So if this was the flight deck at this height, um, it would save a little bit of blocks. Maybe this is more of a starter plus ship. I don't know. We'll see. So, okay. So let's uh, track in some lines here to that area. There. Okay. Huh. I'm not going to run home and say how much I like this right now, but <laughs> I think it I think it could work with enough enough things done to it here. Um, one of the biggest things I still got to I got to figure this part out. This part needs to be figured out. Um, how does this come out from the ship? So I'm going to go back to round full round block this time. So the half here. And uh, ultimate goal, obviously, I want it to look like it's a separated piece from the rest of the ship here. Um, what if we got a little fancy with rounds? See, I don't care about size class, so it's going to be a, a low size class ship. It's not really a concern. I don't care if I use more expensive blocks size class wise, not on this build. So that cuts into it a little bit, but we're going to have a wall here anyway, so I guess i got to keep you away from the thruster, and I think that would kind of work. And this part could stay kind of thinner, and this would could stay over your head, which I think would be kind of neat. Let's uh, follow through on some angle blocks here to that area for now. Okay, let's say that this is main inside of ship section. This does need to have box there, but... Oh, and this is actually where the farm plots go to, so those, those are 
These are the bottom of the farm box. Yeah, hydroponics. We can't expose those to the outside. That is way too weak. So, got to put blocks over at the bottom of this. And not to mention that we're going to come stock with them either. So, yeah, this has to be done. But what if we just try to mix it up a little bit? works except for this part I think it can work let's get rid of these and get the alternative version with uh, the beveled edge on whoops see I like I like these little thin rolls like that anyway it gives you uh, more texture opportunities and uh, a little bit of uh, weird detail in there don't like how i'm transitioning that though so let's uh let's bring that in like that and maybe we'll fluctuate with this area a little bit maybe a couple of half blocks go back into some kind of trim line maybe a, just a straight up thin block here doesn't have to be this long either maybe it will be shaved um, I was trying to mimic the uh, the size of the wayfair hanger but in this case it does look like it's a bit on the long side um, I wonder though I wonder if we go with a more of a formation situation here that could work actually uh, look a little more like a you know, transport ship maybe or something like that cargo ship wrong with that especially for a starter um, so what I'm doing here is um, say we've got that section there and then we'll break it up over here we'll come out again let's see one block two blocks we'll go back into the angle that was used there At least on the side, okay. Um, and then this could be like another thing. Now I just bring that back to where that goes. Or something like that that could work and then you got like two formation pieces here so <clears throat> these blocks on the side here could be changed to to something uh, something like this which might might uh, work out good for it Put in some something like that, and then back around on the bottom side, and then this lines up to the front, and it kind of unifies the side of the ship better. Um, yeah, try it out. I didn't want it to look just like the other ship anyway, so I mean, this is this is great. Um, Again, I might shave the length of it, um, go with a little bit uh, hanger that's not quite as big as that, but maybe, I don't know. Now this does give us a, uh, a, a taller ceiling up here. It doesn't necessarily have to have that, but it's nice knowing that a lot of these main parts are already have homes and places and they're not ad hoc into the ship later which is typically what I end up doing. Um, so uh, kind of pre-planning, you know, some, some of the parts you know you're going to need in the ship. Right now I'm just kind of like 
getting those right, and then from this this point here, these could be probably. Um, uh, you know what? I want it to look separated, so I don't want to like do a bevel around the edges here. This this needs to look like it's, its own their own parts. So do something more like that. Um, gives us a little opportunity on the inside here to do something kind of interesting if to well, let's go back to really thin blocks and put in a couple thins there and then across the top and get rid of that one there and about the same thing on the bottom So then we need just this, uh, I'm going to switch over to, um, some of this, these little tiny little blocks like this, I don't know what it is with me. If I can, uh, save a little bit of weight and they're not tactically like protecting anything and the steel is really weak anyway, um, that maybe shave a little bit of weight on it and put in something like this, uh, use carbon instead. Um, just for that and maybe this could be rounded a little bit more too but I was trying to keep the inter uh, interior space so when you're walking around the inside of this you know you won't be the wiser here to uh, realize that there's really um, you're not filling up that that space with like more interior blocks and things like that okay uh, let's try to f uh, check out a couple more things here okay so lift thrust this has six six was a pretty good number for the amount of weight on it so let me get some thrusters again and try to at least come up with mock-up places on where six lift thrusters should be on this ship um, preferably in places that would work for the ship um, something that won't fry you and something that fits in with the hull so at this area here, access to the warp drive would probably stop about here because you're not going to go past this block. I don't want to let you in here because that, that would that would uh, that would fry you. So this might be God, it's vulnerable though. Um, having a thruster next to where the warp core is, but that would be an opportunity to put in a uh, a lift thruster like here. Um, but I don't like the proximity to the warp core on it. Too close. So let's uh, let's try to go out in the outer well, outer section. I need this hallway intact here, so I can't put thrusters, lift thrusters there either. Um, probably doesn't need this here though. Uh, is there any room up above that to actually stick a couple thrusters? How about some angled ones? Could put a couple way at the front. That would be unusual. They do kind of fit tucked in there a little bit. Kind of a different uh, approach, I suppose. In fact, this angle here could also change to where it doesn't come out at that full angle all the way down to the bottom, which kind of makes it look a little, a little thick. But, hmm, and you know, but there should be a lot of room out on these outer edges. I don't know, not really. Proximity of farms, kill the grow plots with thrusters there. Um, hmm, so generally kind of going with a little bit thinner approach here. That's going to make it a little bit difficult. So technically, I need four more lift thrusters. They don't have to be up here. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll save those, uh, well, maybe six, up to six, because I don't really like the placement of those either. Um, but uh, maybe I'd be better off putting them in back by the hangar area here somewhere. So I wonder if they're all grouped together, if that would, eh, then you got that problem where it looks like it would nosedive if you took off, if you don't distribute the thrusters. Uh, nicely. Um, 
say back in the center hypothetically for now we got some lift thrusters there um, but I would really like to find a better home for the ones up front maybe what if they're yeah, I, I want it to be at least a block away from the warp core and a block away from at least a block away from where people would walk. That doesn't work. No, yeah, that actually does work. Okay, so that's a block away from the warp core. And what about where people walk? People should not be walking here. I won't let them walk there. Okay. So, that'll work. That'll work. Okay, now, how do you get in the ship? Um, obviously, through the hangar door. It's one, one way. But uh, it'd be kind of neat to have um, another way to get in the ship, too. And I'm thinking, in this case, it'd be kind of neat to have some side door ramp access kind of thing like the Janus did. Um, I kind of like that approach. Um, it's kind of neat when you're anywhere in the front of the ship, you can go on either side that way. It didn't waste much room at all, either, so it wasn't really a thing. Anyway, um, I'll stop there today. I think uh, it's it's well. No, uh, you know what? One last thing. One last thing. I got a uh, let's add a couple more thrusters. Four forward thrusters. Um, not too bad. I kind of wanted to get the thrusters in at least. So in this case, it would be really easy if I wanted to stick them here. Again, everything could change, um, but that would be a opportunity to add the forward thrust very easily. Um, strafing thrust. This one had two. And this in this version, I think I'm only going to have one because I don't care about strafing. It's not a combat ship. You're not going to be strafing around stuff. It, I care about turning. I want it to turn decently. But um, if I can save a little bit of CPU, which could translate to other more useful things, um, then I think it would be a wise plan to go that route. Okay, let's not put any strafing there. Let's put the strafing way, way in back, but a good block away from the rear thrust. Like here, and say we had a couple of strafe. Oh, no, I was only going to put in one, wasn't I? It would look a lot better with two, though, wouldn't it? It would uh, fit the, uh, the formation better. Hmm. Well, I'll dump in two now. I can always cut one or leave a placeholder or something to add another one. Um, okay, so we got strafing, down thrust. Uh, this one was running four down thrusters. Hmm. It's almost like I don't want to have necessarily four of those either. The gravity is always on your side. Um, what if they were lined up in the same general proc? Uh, proximity as the strafing thrusters but I'll put in four for now or the yeah the lift thrusters down thrusters uh, forward thrusters so I think that would be all the thrusters um, matching this currently except for uh, yeah no I even got the same down thrusters in there okay again a little bit bigger a little bit bigger if it stays this length. But the the neat thing is going to be trying to make this part look neat on the sides down here. But I'll, I'll save that for the next video. So this is where I'm at right now. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, all I can say is uh, uh, if you don't like the way it looks right now, I, I kind of agree a little bit. I think it has potential, but some things are going to need to be changed and stuff but uh that's how all these ships start out you know you got to start out with something and then you keep on refining and refining and refining um find solutions for all the little problems and then and once you get that done you get your hull intact um then, then you're in pretty good shape what i do like about how i started this though is the fact that i'm not i'm already not worried about like where am i going to cram the warp drive where am i going to put the shield those are on a small ship usually problematic like in the wayfarer um, I built the hull first, and I didn't think about the placement of that stuff right off the gates. Um, and so it's kind of like asymmetrically done where I got a completely uh, sealed away shield 
uh, hidden um, and or I'm sorry <laughs> warp core and then the uh, and then I made this like had to carve out this area and do this like ad hoc floor above here to fit a, a place for a shield in the middle of all this stuff but it, it just doesn't look like organized like well organized um, and I wanted this newer one to be more shippy um, like this was built this way it was engineered this way um, and therefore it has like a little a little engineering room despite being a, a starter ship or a little pathway at least to the warp core and, and uh, shield um, so it will have some construction advantages where I'm not trying to ad hoc things in later um, because it was pre-planned and that is the whole principle of this particular build and, and the idea I wanted to try is not necessarily like building a ship from the inside out but um, some of it just you know big parts how are you gonna do it um, all right well anyway y'all have yourself a good day I hope you enjoyed this uh, I thought I'd try something a little bit different than I, I haven't been doing much in, at all and build videos at all and I figured maybe I would uh, start doing that a little bit more again and this this would be a great great uh, fun little project it's not too big where it will take forever in a day like some of these other things um but uh yeah i don't know three three to three to five videos and uh might have this done so anyway uh have a good day everybody i'll talk to you later